Now, if you own a CNC machine, you have probably heard of the tape method to hold your parts. I find that method very useful and today I will give you my go-to tips so you will never have a flying part again. Tip number one, please never use this double-sided tape. I mean, it's tempting, it's easy, you don't need super glue, but it's super gummy so your part will move around when you mill it. It's a pain to remove the remains. It's, I don't recommend it. An obvious tip, always clean the surface, clean it multiple times. You can actually hold small parts, very good. You have to have a super clean surface. So a part like this, for example, it's a part that I use for my 6-axis robot that I'm currently milling. Um, it's a small part, but you can hold it with tape. Tip number three, always use activator, because I've had it far too often that I applied the super glue put the part down and the middle wasn't even cured when I finished milling the parts. So activator will totally shorten the cure time. A thing that really made the difference for me was to properly press down the tape. And I don't mean with your hands or your fingers, but really a, a round cylinder, no edges because edges will mess up the tape. A round cylinder and really press down the tape. This will make the biggest difference. So if you take one thing from this video, if you apply the tape, press it down again. The side which will lay down on the CNC bed will be deburred. So, deburred the edges. And please don't use too little glue. Get the proper amount, not too little. And very important, distribute it with a piece of plastic or something you have laying around so you get the full surface contact area. You don't know the exact position, the exact size of the stock. Specify the stock a little bit larger so you are safe with the first contact of your end mill because this can be hammer-like and I often had perfectly fixed parts just robbed away by the first contact and you can avoid this by going slowly with the first contact. Check your part for heat. Heat will destroy your work holding so um, maybe pause, uh, pause the program Check with your hands how hot, is the, how hot is the part. Keep calm with your feet and speeds. You need more time. In the end, you don't have to remove that much material in a second operation like you would if you milled it in a vise. So at the end, maybe you will come down to the same time. Next tip, don't use coolant because I use alcohol with my mist system and it will eventually, for small parts, creep under the tape and loosen the glue. So I don't use it. I've tried it. it doesn't work maybe for large larger parts you can use it so or short cycle times where it does not have too much time to dissolve the glue next tip if you're finished and you want to remove the part it's it's very strong the only way to get it off properly is to heat it up you can use a heat gun and don't apply much force because thin parts will bend i will give you more content on cnc machining and the DIY build of my industrial robot. Now I will use this robot to tend my CNC machine or I will try to do it and of course learn a lot of new things and share it with you. If you like this kind of content it's a lot of work for me. The days are too short, <laughs> that's a fact. So please give me some kind of feedback if you find it interesting or if you have any comments or other tips I will be happy to hear from you. Thanks.